But first, how come? Thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk about the movie. Uh, everybody was praising your work, so director and the actor. So I, I, I was like, I need to talk to this guy that, you know, put this together. So thank you and congratulations. And thank you for having me, and thank you for the appreciation of, of my work. I mean, I think the, the, the Rick said, said it. I mean, it's, it's a work that the two of you had to do together. I mean, and uh, obviously Alex also said. The, the editor gets a lot of credit for putting this story together. And obviously the movie is already out. So I think with this interview, we can, we can dive a little bit into details about, about where the story is going. Um, when you saw the script, when you saw the, there's so many pieces uh, moving, uh, what was your first reaction? How am how I going to put this together? I mean, understanding how it's being done. What was your first reaction? My, my, my first reaction in every work I do since, I mean, I started 30 years ago is, oh my, oh my God, how am I going to do this and put it together? It's always a puzzle, you know, a jigsaw thing. But this time it's it's so strange that being, normally I have like two, two, two actors uh, interact and I have one camera on this guy and one camera on the other one. This time there's like five persons in on screen all the time uh, at, at, at scenes, which is, quite different, of course. Um, but I started talk early with Rick about the script and and we were heading for this kind of feeling, this uh, almost uh, claustrophobic feeling of the, the cameras we have all around us. Uh, and as you, you see in the movie, so I mean, almost everything is in the webcam or in the iPhone or smartphone or security cams, satellites or whatever you have around you. And that's quite another sort of material in my hands, for sure. Um, this is a different project of what you have worked in the past before, obviously the way it was created and was developed. Um, once you got all the pieces together, to, to, for you, what was the most difficult, the most challenging part of sitting down and piecing it all together? What was the most challenging part? Uh, again, I think it was to have all the actors in, in on frame all the time in the scene. So, uh, I had to, uh, you know, the, the, the shooting was separate, so they, mm -hmm. they, they didn't act together. We had already uh, uh, acting or reading the lines for them. So the, 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 the pause and the listening for the four guys and one speaking, I mean, I had to find that what kind of reactions, not only in one person to what this guy says, the reaction for four people. And of course, there's a there's a good thing with with the, the Zoom call because I, I I mean we know the computer word I can do glitches I can do freeze frames I can do so I can swatch I can switch takes whenever I want in a, in a, in, a, in a way, which was a good thing, but it was tricky to find I mean it took time to find the reactions from uh, the the other the other people matching and they had different uh, agendas in a way you know, uh, oh. yeah. Let's dive in a little bit into the story because obviously, uh, if the movie came out, we're going to talk about time travel. We don't want to spoil the ending. I don't want to spoil the mystery of the ending. But let's talk about time travel, time traveling, which is also always such an interesting subject. And 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 did did you? Well, let me see how I how rephrase this. Um, did you did you understand where the story was going? How did you, were you expecting where the story was going when you were facing it all together? understanding where the characters were going. Did you give maybe Rick any input or maybe I want this or maybe I want, or did you just follow his directions? No, no, it, it, it happened a lot during the edit because I mean, it was a fast run in, in, a, in a sense uh, to, to get these pieces together. And we were shooting my nighttime and I was, I was talking to Rick all the time during the shooting of the film. Uh, and as you understand, I'm in Sweden, so when they were shooting daytime, a lot was my nighttime. Uh, but I was uh, a shadow in the on set, so to say, but this virtual set we had. Uh, so we tweet things on the way uh, things happened about the, the time travel. And, you know, you can even be confused when you work with it, because sometimes you realize that, oh, maybe is this guy here or is he mm -hmm. in another year or whatever? So it, it happened a lot during the, the editing, during the shooting as well, sure. Um, 
two more questions. I will let you go. I don't want to keep any more of your time. Um, no problem. I, I, but I, one, one of the things that I got excited for me once I, when I, was, when I was doing my research is that the, obviously this, this is already a franchise. We already have two more uh, movies uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in the future upcoming. What do you, what could you expect? What do you expect for the story to, um, how to, for it to unfold for the next two movies? Uh, first of all, I, I expect, and I know from talking to Rick that being so inventive during the pandemic, and shooting this film without travel, without anyone meeting uh, or, or so. Uh, I expect us to be as inventive, but in a different way in how we do it. Uh, and and uh, I mean, if we didn't meet at all in the first one, we might meet a lot in the next one and travel all over the world. We never know. But uh, I expect it to be an inventive journey with Rick uh, and uh, also a story that will, you know, develop into something uh, more than we have today from the first one. One final question, and at least this is your, your, your expectation of the, of the final product, the final product's already out, people have already seen it, we see from this interview, uh, people have already seen it. What has been your, what have you heard from your colleagues, from people, and what is your you know, reaction to the final product? Are you content? Are you happy with how it came out? Yes, of course I am. And uh, the, the, the people I've shown, shown it to, they've been, I mean, it's, it's an amazing, I mean, the story and the film is amazing and the way we did it. And uh, it's so uh, intriguing to tell and, and people get intrigued by how we did it. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the main thing for me also has been this, as I said, the, the claustrophobic feeling that we are observed all the time. Uh, and it, it might, I, I, maybe I hope uh, it affect my kids to not have their phones and uh, iPad up all the time. I don't know. Well, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. I think, I mean, when you just said it, you know, that's the, the way I, I mentioned it to the colleagues and I, I praise what you all did because it's basically you guys, re, you guys, uh, you know, taking, getting, getting creative. That's what I saw. People, you guys get, getting creative and, and making something out of, we need to do something. We're stuck at home. Let's get to do something. Let's be creative. Let's think outside the box. And that's what I think about this movie when I saw it and what you guys did, Rick, yourself and the actors. So again, congratulations and thank you once again for taking a little bit of your time and talking about this movie. Hopefully we can talk in the in the future for the other two. So thank you. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Thank you very much.